any jealous real friends it's seven six five four three two one you'll never have the sacred stone <laughs> oh this you crazy mother Well, definitely got some good stuff today. Well, we are leaving with a big bag. Well, I guess I'll just start today's vlog right here. To be honest, I woke up at like 9.50, which is obviously 10 minutes before Wacky Wednesdays open. Literally just grabbed my camera and rushed out the house. As soon as I got here, there was a huge line. I was all the way in the back, so I was like, man, I'm not gonna get anything good. People are gonna get first dibs. But we walked in and we got a good amount of stuff. You know, I think the last time or the last Wednesday we were here, we didn't find nearly as much as that. We found maybe two items, maybe one item. But today we found a Tommy jacket. We found a polo stripe t-shirt. We found a couple vintage jackets. So it was definitely clutch. And I was actually gonna go to Miami today to go thrifting, but some things that came up. If you guys saw yesterday's vlog, you saw that I went apartment shopping. Well, good news and bad news. Bad news is my apartment complex wants me out in the next day or so. Now, that sucks because I haven't got approved for my new apartment. I also don't have, like, I don't have anything packed. So it's like, how can I get out of my apartment within 24 to 48 hours if uh, it's just so today is gonna be a super short vlog. We're gonna hit up Goodwill right now Then we're gonna quickly run home. I'm gonna show you guys what I got Then I'm gonna go to the post office ship out all the raffle winners Then I'm gonna record a, the new raffle actually no I'm not gonna I'll just put it into this vlog, but we are doing new raffles. It's gonna be an insane raffle um, So make sure you guys stay tuned for that. But let's see what they have at Goodwill guys. Look at this girl's Levi jacket with like the animal print. Got a nice feel of sport, stripes in there with the pinstripes going down the slide. All knitted golf sweater. There's a huge stain on the back though, otherwise I'd cop. Vintage Tommy, only three things today. Well, we're leaving with one, two t-shirts and one jacket. We're gonna hit up one more store and then we're gonna get home because like I said, we got a bunch of stuff to do. Well, I just reserved a huge U-Haul truck for tomorrow because tomorrow I guess I gotta start moving. Like after I come back from the post office and after I film uh, and edit and upload this video, I gotta start packing all my stuff up, you know, going through what I'm throwing away, what I'm keeping and start, start doing this big move, guys. It's gonna suck, but Hopefully it'll be worth it in the end. All right guys, before we get into the thrift, if you guys saw yesterday, somebody won the Tommy jacket for a dollar and somebody won the Polar Bear shirt for $2, or maybe that's vice versa. They won the Tommy jacket for $2 and the Polar Bear for $1. But here's the new raffle guys. I was gonna do 10 items, but then I did a live video. If you guys don't follow me on Instagram, make sure you do at DITR954. But I did a live video and I was like, yo, I'm gonna do 10 items. They're like, nah, bro, that's way too much. Don't do that. Like, I wanna be able to enter all of them. That's way too much. I can't spend that much. I was like, all right, no worries, no worries. So I'm gonna do four items. I think that's fair. You guys can pick between which items you want, just like always. I'm gonna do four items this time. Last time I did two, the before time I did one. But I feel like four items is perfect just because you guys can pick and choose. And not gonna lie, these people are kind of screwing me over with this apartment. They're kicking me out tomorrow I have to go. Well, not kicking me out, but they're saying I have to be out by the 15th, which is in like three days. So they're pretty much kicking me out. I'm getting a U-Haul tomorrow. I'm gonna start moving all my stuff and putting in a storage unit till hopefully I get approved. I'm hoping by today or tomorrow I'll know if I get approved for that apartment so that way I can move into that. But I'm doing four items just because I figured these are kind of high item priced or like high priced items. So it really help me go out and also help you guys out. It's also a dollar. You know, I average about 2000 views on it. So if all you guys put a dollar for all four of these items, that would like, 
thank you. Thank you. That's all I would have to say. You know, it helped me hopefully move into this new place. Like, I don't know. Let me just show you guys the products. Boom! NMD size 12. You guys saw on the vlog I bought these for personal. They've been sitting in my inventory room. I have not worn them yet. Um, to be honest, they're really nice, but at the end of the day, all I wear is like slides and sandals. You know, living in Florida, you just want to be comfy and it's super hot. So I figured, you know what? Let me bless somebody else. Uh, Urban Necessities sell these for about 190 to 200 bucks. So I'm going to wrap them off for $1. Size 12. They don't fit you, get a size swap. They don't fit you, win them for $5 and sell them for $170. You guys think that I make money, but actually the winner makes more money than I do. A lot of people, actually not a lot of people, but a couple of people in yesterday's chat asked me how much do you make off this stuff. So the Polar Bear shirt I sell for $60, that ended at $67, so I made $7 and more. The Vans I bought for $105, it ended at $117. So you guys think I make a lot of money off this? I really don't. But the fact that this is worth 200, I'm hoping that I'll get 200 entries on this. And then the fear of God shorts and whatnot, and that'll really help me with the new apartment. But again, $1. Then we got the fear of God shorts. You guys saw I camped out for four hours for these and couldn't get my size because of a reseller. It is what it is, but it's a size small. Um, I'd say it probably fits a 30. I mean, it does fit me, but not the way I like it. You know, I like gym shorts to be kind of loose and baggy. These would be fitted and the strings would be kind of just for look, if that makes sense. So size small, fear of God essentials, $1 raffle, get it. Next, vintage Tommy Hill figure, size large in this royal blue with the left patch. Tommy Hill figure all embroidered with a yellow hood. One dollar. And for the final one, we're doing this color block vintage Nautica. On the left side it has Nautica Blue Water N945. We have the color blocking on the front, on the back with the yellow. Nautica pull tab up there. Again size large. On the right side, you have Blue Water Challenge. So $1 can get you this, 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 and this. I'm gonna show you guys on the screen how you can add multiple and like add to the cart to so make sure you guys do it correctly. Okay, so you come to my website, link in bio, and you just scroll down and you'll see the four raffles going on right now. We have the Adidas NMD size 12, the Fear of God shorts, the Tommy, and the Nautica. So let's say you want to enter all of them, right? You want to spend a total of $10. You're really liking the Adidas, so you press Add to Cart. And this is where you enter as many entries as you want for the Adidas. So let's say you really like them, you want to do $3 on Adidas. You press Enter, then you can press the little X. You go back, you go to the Fear of God shorts. You're not really fearing the fear of God, but hey, you'll throw a dollar. So you press add to cart, then you press the X again. You do mess with Tommy, so you're gonna give another $3 for the Tommy. So you're gonna enter three, enter. So now you're looking at $7 so far. And then finally, we'll put $3 on this. So as you see, we have $3 on the Nautica, we have $3 on the Tommy, we have one on Fear of God, and we have three on that. A total of $10. Then we're gonna do, we're gonna press PayPal. Do not press checkout. Make sure you guys press PayPal. You log into your PayPal, and bam, you guys are entered. Good luck, guys. Now that that raffle is done, make sure you guys pause this video, get your entries in, and then come back and watch this haul. So to start it off, we have this size 2XL Nike USA track jacket with the blue stripes going down the sleeves, patch right there. On the back, we have Big USA. When I bought this, I thought this was a men's, but now looking at the size, it says women's large, but it's like this mint green North Face fleece. It says flash dry and has a little pocket on the left. I mean, I guess a guy could wear this if it was like maybe a medium, but 
If I have any girl larges out there that I want to stunt in a North Face. As large, we have this vintage Pierre Cardian. I believe that's how you pronounce it, Pierre Cardian. Windbreaker. You can see the Pierre Cardian and stitched. If, the, if this isn't how you pronounce that, it's not like a stupid, but you have the teal going down with the black and white stripes. On the pull tab for the zipper, it's like a little wave. And then on the back, as large, we have this Nike sportswear shirt, that vintage style look, the black and green like Brazil colors. As large, we have this red Chase NASCAR, number 99. Carl Edwards. Ralph Lauren size large striped shirt, which I'm wondering where's the horse, but it's legit like Ralph. But it's that definitely like, it reminds me of that 70s show with like the brown and then tan and the yellow and the green and the orange, but this thing is fire. Size large, but to be honest, I think it could fit a medium. It looks a little shrunken up. This piece is so nice. Size large, Tommy like vintage windbreaker style. Like usually when you find these jackets, it's like a coach, not a coach jacket, but it's hotter, how do I explain it? It's like the, I don't know, it's so hard to explain. It's like, uh, I don't know, you guys know what I mean. Now, I'm not good with words, so don't roast me. But this is like a windbreaker material, super light. I did unzip it, and unfortunately there is some ripping, but that doesn't really matter, because like if you zip it up, then you're good. But it's like in this off yellow. You have the crest right there. On the back, we have Tommy Hilfiger. This thing is really nice. If I didn't have so many Tommy Hilfiger jackets, I would keep it. And then on the back, just for a little added, we also have that strap right there. We got this vintage Belfi. I don't even know. This blue and red color blocking. You can unzip the sleeves to make it a vest. On the back, we have this kangaroo pouch. Maybe you can Let's see what it is. Yeah, huge pocket on the back, zipper pocket on the back. This thing is fire. I had to pick this up. It says US 40 to 34, so I don't know. I'm gonna have to try this on to see, but super fire. As XL, we have this Fila Sport track jacket with the navy, the white and red stripes with the Fila Sport right there. On the inner lining, we have pinstriping. Then on the cuffs, size small, we have this Sonic the Hedgehog. And for the final pickup, we have size XL, vintage Florida Gators, with like the color blocking, blue and orange, blue and gray. So make sure you guys go check out the link down below for the pricing and sizing for all these vintage items, as well as kill the raffle, you know, the Fear of God, the NMDs, the Nautica jacket and the Tommy jacket, go smash it, go kill it, and just know that you are helping me and Captain hopefully get into this new place. Uh, after these, I'm probably gonna do 24 to 48 hours. I'll probably, like, if you guys kill one item, then obviously I'll end that in 24 hours. But I'll obviously see how it goes. And I'm also gonna do this color block Nautica, this sailing Nautica, and one more sailing Tommy Hilfiger jacket. Uh, those will be the next raffles. So make sure you guys go kill it. I will see you guys tomorrow for another EMC vlog. Tomorrow is going to be moving day one. Um, sorry, it's not going to be fashion, but you guys will see me moving my inventory and whatnot. So I'll see you guys tomorrow. Smash the like button. Forget guys. Let's get it. Let's get it. Let's get it. Let's get it. Let's get it, guys. I ain't got no issues. I'm just doing my thing. Hope you're doing your thing too. I'm a deadbeat cousin. I hate family reunions. Fuck the church up by drinking at the communion.